Binge Pipe continues to stick with its commitment to present You Don't Know Jack. Binge Pipe, upgrade to premium to skip this slogan. Merry Christmas, you old trivia game! You know, every time a bell rings, it means our buzzer is broken. All right, you ragtag crew of misfits, time to band together to compete separately. And welcome to all of you in the audience who couldn't be bothered to buy the game. I'm adding an audience bonus just for you. The more audience members pick the right answer, the less bonus money goes to the players. But if the audience really tanks it, that right answer is going to be worth big bucks. All right, let's do this thing. To begin with, the Us Weekly Journal of Science. If Us Weekly wanted to class up their magazine, what could they rename their Stars, They're Just Like Us feature? Stars, they too take part in precipitous activities. Stars, they participate in quotidian tasks as well. Stars, they act as though they are abstemious to us. Or stars, they subjugate we, the work. Okay, let's take a look. Here it is, the wrongest answer. <laughs> Quotidian means mundane and everyday. The Us Weekly feature shows celebrities doing things like walking dogs, buying groceries, and breathing through their mouths. Very quotidian tasks. Some of them even sleep in a bed. And how the audience fare? So, not the smartest group then. That means that right answer is worth even more. You can thank me later. How about this one? Shy Town. If Chance the Rapper got a job in statistics, what would be his new moniker? Chance the Registrar, Chance the Cartographer, Chance the Actuary, or Chance the Compliance Manager? I love this part. What are the odds? Watch how easy this is. An actuary uses statistics to assess risk for financial investments. Finally, a game that combines Chance the Rapper with all the hip excitement of statistical risk assessments. This game is going to make a billion dollars. Why don't we do it with three? Up next. Steving is the hardest part, except for something even harder like a dis or dat. I'm gonna read off seven movies, all featuring beloved character actor Steve Buscemi. For each one, tell me if Steve Buscemi's character is alive at the end of the movie, or Steve Buscemi's character is dead by the end of the movie. Think fast, you'll only get a few seconds to pick between Buscemi lives, or Buscemi dies. And you're all doing this together, so look alive. Here it comes. Reservoir Dogs. Armageddon. Monsters Inc. Big Lebowski.
Most of you managed not to embarrass yourselves. But player two, you couldn't have done much worse. Customer satisfaction seems to have dipped. Looks like it's screw time. Haha, <laughs> that's correct. Binge pipe employee Cookie Masterson used the screw to make answering a question harder for all the other players. The results may surprise you, and you'll receive a monetary bonus for anyone who answers incorrectly. Ah, uh, yeah, thanks for that. Just one more benefit of your binge pipe membership. Coming up, Pamabalism. I live in constant fear there's a fourth little pig that we never talk about. Instead of wood or brick, he built his house out of cottage bacon, which is his brother's leg, his father's shoulder, his mother's face, or his own butt. Oh, look out. <laughs> Player two dropped a screw on you guys. Time to get social. Let's see how that shook out. Yes, his own butt. <laughs> oh, what a waste of swine. <laughs> Cottage bacon comes from a pig's shoulder. <laughs> I was already suspicious of a story where pigs knew how to work with wood and bricks, but this was the last straw. Yeah, that screw is a good move, player two. Have some cash. Let's try type equals squiggly bracket music comma classic squiggly bracket. Except all cookies don't clear your cash. It's time for data mining. Binge pipe has a whole unfortunate data mining thing they do. I can take it from here. We need some help with the following data. Aladdin Sane, David Robert Jones, Thin White Duke. Who was Googling himself? Axel Rose, Bob Dylan, Tom Jones, or David Bowie? So who got it? In a word, that is not the correct answer to this you don't know Jack question. <laughs> Born David Robert Jones, David Bowie created the alter egos Aladdin Sane and Thin White Duke. So many identities in one vessel. We like that. Yeah, sometimes you creep me out, binge pipe lady. Say goodbye to round one. Numbers, numbers, show me numbers. Currently, player three is in the lead. And on the other end of the spectrum, these players are doing the bad thing. Your performance has triggered the need for more screws. And don't forget, round two screws screw even harder. And you'll net more cash for each player that answers wrong. So don't forget to use them. The rest of you better answer fast before you get screwed. Oh, and uh, remember, questions are worth twice as much in round two. This is a real party now. <laughs> Six trombones is not a parade. Feast your eyes upon this. The first rule of AV Club. For this question, I was going to hook up my laptop to the TV. Oh, but I can't find the right dongle. Oh, dong it. If my laptop's dongle were the same relative size as a male sea turtle's dongle, about how long would that be? 164th the length of my laptop, 116th the length of my... Brace yourself. <laughs> Player 4 just screwed the room. Come to terms with these terms of service. Let's see who got it. Well, nobody got this one, so um, let's just move on with our lives. Male sea turtles are extremely well endowed. Its penis size is roughly half its body length. Which explains why you never see them driving sports cars. 
That screw is a good move, player four. Here's your extra cash. La vie est un canard. Set. Behold. I think the lady doth protest about the right amount. If a group of protesters wanted a way to measure how much hashtag resistance they were generating, what should they add to their chant? What do we want? Blank! When do we want it? Now! Volts! Ohms! Gs! Or amps! Okay, what'd you pick? Uh, no. Ohm is the electrical measurement used to measure resistance. Back in college, I went to a lot of protests, and let me tell you, we almost won the right to publicly urinate with a doctor's note. Hey, question. The algorithm demands your input. Would you like a question made with love or a question made with spite? Contribute your percentage of the choice now. Here are the votes. I have no opinion about your selection. Twas then I learned to heed the winds of it. Next up, a question made with spite. Which of the seven deadly sins was added by Pope Gregory because he didn't think Evagrius of Pontus's list was quite good enough? Pettiness? No, oh, here it comes. Player two has invoked the screw. Your answers are on the go. How do we do? Envy is one of the current seven deadly sins, but it wasn't in the original eight. That's right, eight. You see, when it comes to modern sinning, it's all about quality over quantity. Nice screwing, player two. Here's that cash. Here's one I like to call my mentally imbalanced pony. Imagine all this time the My Little Ponies have been perfectly normal sized ponies who just thought they were too small. Which diagnosis could explain this? Pinkie Pie, you have muscle dysmorphia. Fluttershy, you have hypomania. Applejack, you have depersonalization disorder. Or Twilight Sparkle, you have malignant narcissism. Okay, who chose what? That's where you feel disconnected from yourself, and no one is more grounded in their personal narrative than Applejack. <laughs> Hypomania describes periods of extreme activity, so how my little ponies are really all the time. <laughs> Muscle dysmorphia is the obsession that your body is the wrong size. <laughs> Pinkie Pie, you are perfect the way you are. Feast your eyes upon this. Insert reference to one of their hit singles here. Which concert would be an example of the weekend not playing a weekend show? A Saturday show in Mexico, a Sunday show in Canada, a Saturday show in Brazil, or a Sunday show in Egypt? What'd you guys pick? <laughs> in order to honor the Muslim Holy Day on Friday, a weekend in Egypt is Friday and Saturday. Sunday's like a Monday. <laughs> Which is probably why they don't get Garfield. Ow.
made it to the attack. When you see an answer that matches the category, tap it on your device. The faster you pick a right answer, the more cash you make. And more than one answer can be right. But each time you're wrong, I'm taking some cash away. And don't forget... We may you! It's gotta be a match that fits this clue. Do not eat that. Choose the foods you should avoid for each situation. Good luck. Two's got it! Nice work, Player Two. You won and you covered the spread. I'm gonna make a fortune for my bookie. Oh, and don't forget. You don't know Jack! Versus standardized math testing. Okay, and pencils down. It's actually pretty boring. 